Hi there, welcome to Future Looks. I'm Eric. Recently the Intel Z68 platforms launched and uh, two of the features that were on these were LucidLogic's Virtue which gives you access to the integrated uh, video that's built into Sandy Bridge processors and then one that's uh, really unique and that is Intel Smart Response Technology. It gives you ability to connect an SSD to your platter based system that you currently have if it's a Z68 chipset. And what that does is it allows the OS, uh, the entire system, to cache a lot of your data to your SSD. So for instance, if you're booting your system, uh, which is one of the things a lot of us tend to do, especially here on test benches, the OS is able to cache to this, which improves boot times noticeably. It overall improves your system's performance, especially if you're a content creator. So as you're setting up your Z68 system, one of the things you'll need to keep in mind is the size of the SSD you're using, your cache drive. The largest that the Z68 uh, Intel Smart Response Technology supports is a 64 gigabyte, just like the one I have here. Now this is a V Plus uh, SSD Now 100 series. It's a new one, uh, recently launched from Kingston. It's been on the channel for a few months, you'll find that these have a 230 megabyte per second read time and a 180 megabyte per second write time, and that's sequential, of course, uh, and that's based on the controller that has that's integrated inside. Now, the 30 gigabyte version here, a more uh, affordable option, has uh, does a 180 megabytes read, 50 megabyte write, and of course that means it's uh, quite a bit slower than this drive here. Now the reason for the change in speeds is this one's a little more expensive, looks uh, of course larger, but the controller uh, provides a little better performance for those who need the extra performance out of their system, a little more productivity. And the 30 gigabyte version is uh, more of an entry level, and while it is uh, a bit uh, slower, has a slower controller, it does help improve uh, system performance anyway. Uh, especially, no, uh, very noticeably, especially under some of our testing. So what we did was we took the system, connected it, and we got our SysMark scores, uh, which we'll get to in just a minute. But what we wanted to do is show you exactly what it is that you're going, when you're setting this up, there is some confusion uh, for some users as to how it's done. Alright, so once you've got your system built and it's set, ready to go, the optimal way of setting this up is you will uh, configure this into a RAID in the BIOS. Now basically you just simply have to go into the BIOS here and in our test system here you select uh, a RAID mode. That's what you're, that's all you have to do. So once we've booted, all we have to do with this particular system is look for Intel's rapid storage technology software. Once you have uh, it's installed just like we have here we selected two different modes. You have enhanced mode and, of course, uh, maximize. Now, enhanced mode saves, uh, does some data protection in case something goes wrong. Uh, maximize doesn't, so you, uh, of course, risk the, the usual loss of data that's on that cache drive if you lose power, for instance. And, of course, since we didn't set up a physical RAID array, uh, then either case, you really don't have a lot to worry about. You just lose your data that you have on there at that particular moment that you're functioning. So it's similar, but not quite similar to the RAID setup. We selected uh, Enhance because we're a little conservative around here. That's already selected. And once that's set up here, you have now you have the option of disabling or not disabling. And of course, uh, both drives showed up, so we just had to select the hard drive needed, accelerate to get there. All right, so we want to help out a few Z68 users out there who may have not installed an SSD already or may not have known they had Intel Smart Response Technology built in. It's very possible. Now, if you go into uh, the BIOS after plugging in your SSD and you select RAID, when you get back to Windows, it's going to continue to blue screen. That's because it's looking for uh, the driver software or any of the registry settings that, are, uh, that were set up if you would have started from a fresh install. Now, instead of having to re reinstall Windows, all you really have to do is check out our webpage where we have our Z68 article. We have a quick fix, an automatic link uh, fix from Microsoft 
that can save you some time. You just run that and it resets the registry options for you. Then you go reboot the system, go back into the BIOS, select RAID, save and restart. Now when you come back into the Windows, uh, you shouldn't blue screen. We tried it out on two different drives, uh, both 64 and 30, with a fresh install of Windows that was not configured for RAID, and it worked both times. Uh, when you reinstall your rapid storage technology software, you should see the accelerate button, and then you can uh, set it up from there. So that will save you a whole lot of time if you're one of those few that forgot that you could actually use an SSD for caching to improve performance. Based on our performance graph, you can see that the, drive, the SSDs do enhance the system quite a bit, especially in our SysMark 2007 tests. Uh, the 64 gig and our 20 gig Larson Creek that we received with the original launch of Z68 both perform very similarly, uh, yet both are about the same price, yet the Kingston is a 64 gig versus the Larson Creek 20 gig. So there is, a, in itself, is some good value for a little extra space. And even though the 30 gig Kingston came in a bit slower, we noticed that uh, performance was still better with it. Uh, that's the big benefit of Intel Smart Response technology. So again, all that's needed to set it up is essentially setting up RAID 0 in the BIOS, installing your OS, and of course uh, installing Intel Smart Response technology software, which automatically uh, formats your drive and sets it up and, uh, with a reboot or two and you're back uh, to select your options and you're up and running. So there we have uh, Intel Smart Response technology using Kingston SSDs. Again you can find the Kingston 64 gig, the V plus or V100 series here, it's a V plus uh, for about $144.99 uh, various places. Uh, the 30 gigabyte option here, the retail, you can find for about $85.99. We've seen the, just the drive version for as little as $75.99. Now between the two, that's uh, a good price. This one gives you a lot of extra room. This one here just gives you the, the basic amount of room you're going to want to need, uh, want for caching. And of course, if you're curious about the, the Intel drive, you'll be spending about $120 to $130 for the 20 version. So the 64 gig looks really good about since you get the extra space. So I'd like to thank you for checking out Intel Smart Response with us with Kingston. Uh, we hope to see you again real soon.